today we're gonna to be doing our five minute Friday is what I'm calling this series because I think I need a little more than three minutes to get these tips in. So today, I don't know if you can tell what's missing from my makeup, but I don't have any concealer on. I've got everything else applied except concealer. I wanted to show you guys a little trick and tip for your concealer that can really help um, elevate your makeup and kind of lift the eye, brighten under the eye, not only conceal, but highlight while also lifting and um, kind of pulling the eyes out. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this trick, I'm going to be concealing, but I'm also gonna go back and highlight, and I'm gonna use two different concealers for this. If I go in with a concealer that's uh, really bright to highlight, chances are it's gonna to be too light to conceal. Um, I like to use this analogy because I think it really makes sense for a lot of people, but if you have a bruise on your leg and you put white panties over it, you're not fooling anybody, right? That's kind of what you're doing when you're applying a really light concealer um, on a dark area. You have to conceal first and then go and brighten. Now, I am just gonna go and apply my concealer. This mirror is too magnified for me. I need something a little less that makes my eyes cross, like that makes my eyes wanna cross. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in and apply this concealer underneath my eye. As you can see, it's deep enough to conceal. It's definitely got um, some peach tone to it. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to apply that and blend it in with a beauty blender. I really like a beauty blender for concealer because it just pushes the concealer into the skin. Concealer is typically your most uh, heavy makeup product, right? It's the most coverage, it's thicker in consistency. So I like a beauty blender because it really makes it, um, and it keeps the integrity of that coverage, but it gives it the most natural finish. So I am doing that and I'm just pressing. So that conceals pretty well. If I wanted a really good highlight, sometimes we just want those days where we want that under eye to be really highlighted. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use a lighter concealer. This is a concealer by, by Clinique and it's the shade Moderately Fair. And I actually purchased this by mistake because it was too light and then I thought, well, this will be a good highlighting concealer. Now, um, because I'm using a concealer on top of a concealer. I wanna make sure that my highlighting product is thin in consistency. You don't wanna take two thick concealers and do this trick. You really wanna find um, concealers that are not too heavy, and especially the last one that you apply on top, you want it to be very thin in consistency. Now, I don't know if you can see this concealer, but it is very, very, very liquidy. It's not quite as thin as water or anything, but it's definitely more on the thin side of concealers. It's got a thin kind of gel-like uh, consistency. And I'm going in with a two 52 brush by MAC. Any brush will work that's flat and has a nice straight edge. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to kind of just put this in the inner corner where I want that highlight. And then I'm also going to take this and I'm going to create a nice little sharp kind of line there. I know we used to see these YouTube videos where people would put scotch tape there to do their eye makeup so they would get a really sharp, clean line. And that's certainly a trick you can do. For me, it almost creates too harsh of a line. Like I don't want it to be that harsh on me. I don't want it to look like I can cut somebody with my shadow, but I do like how it gives a nice clean lifted look. Well, using a concealer like this can give you that same look. So I'm just taking this brush and I'm just kind of blending that up and around the brow. So what I'm creating is a really subtle highlight to the skin. Um, a highlight that's matte, right? There's no shimmer to it. It's not like a reflective highlight. It's a brightening highlight. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you feel the need to go back with your finger and soften any edges, you can certainly do that. But that is the tip to create a concealed but highlighted under eye and also how to use your concealer to elongate and lift the eye. Do you see how this eye line is just cleaner than this? So let me go do the other eye and I'll be right back. And the two places to really give that highlight uh, are the inner corner and then the outer edge here. You don't necessarily need to bring that highlight all underneath the eye. You can just kind of concentrate it in key areas that'll give that really uh, like bright eyed highlighted effect while looking more natural, you know, without having that flashback in photos where it's just like white under the eye. Just concentrate that right here in the corner and then right here on the outer corner, blend it up. Take your beauty blender if you want, just to add that extra added blend out effect. And voila, you are done. So now you have a concealed but brightened under eye area with that subtle kind of clean cut um, shadow look. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Just a really nice like natural way to conceal but also highlight under the eye and create that real clean kind of, kind of line with your eyeshadow with using concealer. So you can either do it like I did where you apply your foundation and everything and then your concealer last or you can just apply your eye makeup first, then your concealer, then the rest of your makeup. Um, the only reason I did it the way that I did is because I filmed a video before this so I had everything on but normally I would probably just do my eyes first and then go in and do the concealer and foundation. I hope you guys are enjoying these quick little uh, five minute Fridays or three minute Thursdays depending on the length of the video will determine which day they are or which title they fall into but really short uh, digestible videos focusing on one makeup tip that you can implement into your makeup routine to just kind of up level your makeup game so as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye